Hey everyone, Sawmill Charlie. Well, here we are at the North American Honey Bee Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. Close to 3,000 tickets have been sold. 141 vendors are here for the next three days and it's gonna be a massive show. The lines are already backed up at least 500 feet waiting to get in. It's Thursday around 12 15 and the doors will open up here in the next 15 minutes so let's go ahead and go inside and check out the vendor area along with the speakers well everyone here's the line going into the north american honey bee expo center a very long line Well, everyone, we're inside the main lobby. Over here where you see the doors opening is where the trade show is. And here's the folks going down this main hallway where two of the major classrooms are off to the right, which hold probably 500 people, maybe 1,000. This is just one of two major classrooms. Another educational room. This is Natalie Summers' okay. talk about beekeeping. Now, I'm going to take and walk down just across the end of the trade show floor, show you how many aisles of product there is for everyone to purchase from. Here's aisle number two. We've got Better Bee setting up here. There's Dr. Peck. We've got Dogwood Ridge Bee Supply. Here are some of the Lysen honey extractor equipment. This one here has an automatic extractor. A correct. Actually, it's uncapper, and down below is the wax extruder that basically presses the honey out of the wax, and then the wax falls out of the end of this auger system. Here's another honey uncapper that just has a regular capping wax table underneath of it without the honey press. This unit alone is $6,665. And here is a uncapping unit. The knives are all steam heated and this unit is a manual crank system so you can load your frames in the top and then manually crank them through the knives and then out onto your uncapping table there's a bvac that they're selling different types of extractors over here here's a hand crank extractor here's a licensed 20 frame extractor 
a licensed 30 frame extractor. Here's a licensed honey pump. There's the backsides of all the uncapping machines. And then here is a 18 gallon licensed bottling tank. There's acorn B frames. We'll go ahead and go on down the end of the trade show area. There's Hive Alive products. There's another aisle. A multitude of bee products. Here's Premier Bee Products. They're known for their boxes. A kind of a new business that has emerged in the last several years. Here's a log with a beehive inside of it for demonstration purposes. Another aisle. There's highs for heroes. There's Larabi B vaporizers. And we're coming over to Nature's Emirates Farm. And right there is Robbie himself that sells Larabi B vaporizers. Around the corner, they're going to have a Nature's Emirates Farm interview program. There they are, having a talk with one of the main commercial beekeepers with their studio set up with all the cameras. And there's Mr. Ed. Here's another row of bee products. So let's go on down. If you can think of it, I'm sure this trade show has it. There's hand paintings there. There's Jose, the California beekeeper, number one queen wearing guy is here selling queens. Here's a vendor here with all types of creamed honey. Actually, it's, I've tasted several of them and they're wonderful tasting with all different types of flavors. Here is garden apiaries with their top bar beehives. And here's Jason, Bohemia Bees from Maryland. What's going on so much, Charlie? And here we got Ricky Rourke, and we got Russ Cuteman here from the... Uh, hive management. This yeah. would not work for Charlie over here. <laughs> this would not work for Charlie over here. This would work for Charlie over Charlie, here. Exactly. Charlie's budget would not work with these over here. <laughs> and, of course, we have Jason with Bohemia Bees Bohemia from the bees. E of the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Yep. And we then got, uh, our queen right dial that placed first in the honey contest. That's that great. That's awesome. That awesome. That's great. Excited. And then we've got Ricky Rourke over here with Legend. horizontal beehives, which we'll go down and see his products on display. Legend. Yeah. Ricky Rourke. And also, Jason, why don't we show the folks about your dial program? If you want to do that, we can absolutely do that. I'll, I'll give you the spiel. Give me the spiel. The spiel. Give me the spiel to your audience that on me so people can hear what my I got a pretty loud voice so I don't know that'll be a problem can you hear me now testing testing one two all right so what we're looking at is the queen right dial the queen right dial was a collaboration between castle hives and myself Brian Coper and myself we thought and we knew beekeepers have a problem with keeping and tracking the status of their hives so we came up two years ago something called the queen right dial what that is is it allows you to track post inspection 
the status of your queen. If you have a mated queen, it's green. Naturally, you could find supersede your cells in there, swarm cells, if you have a virgin queen or no queen at all. Right? Ultimately, you need to be able to look at your hive and look across your apiary and see that there are differences in your hives before you need to get into certain ones that are the problem ones, right? So we've now expanded this queen right dial to a new dial. This new dial has two dials on it. It has the original queen right dial to the left. Now we've added the year that the queen is mated. That's always critical because right now, all of our hives, this is what they look like. Mated queen, last year queen. As soon as we start mating new queens, naturally we're gonna mark it as green because that's this year's color. Green is gonna be green, right? It also has an action bar in the middle. So an additional, in addition to knowing that you have a mated queen from this year, you say today is the sixth, 10 days maybe I need to treat. We have inspect, feed, treat. You take a washable marker, make a little mark on there and write 116 on there. So you know when you go down the row of your hives, you actually can get all the information you need on what you need to do in that next inspection. We take it a little bit further though. Let's say you did find no queen in your colony, which is a common problem for beekeepers. No queen in your colony, what do you go do? You go to Charlie and you buy a queen, right? A mated queen. You take that mated queen, you insert it in the hive, introduce her in the hive, and once she's there, well now you can mark it as queen right again. This year's queen from Charlie, right? So now you have a queen right colony again. But what if you wanna take the long route? What if you decide to say, I'm gonna breed my own queens or I'm gonna take a frame from another colony with eggs in it and drop it in that colony? We have a solution for that and that's called the mating dial. The mating dial is really just the timeline for when bees become back queens again. So you have an egg, larva, pupa, the whole process and when you have cap cells in your colony, you can set it to whatever you start point, your starting point is. Let's say you take a frame of bees. Today is the sixth. You have eggs on that frame. Three days, they're gonna hatch out on the ninth. You know you should be capped by the 13th. You know you should stay out of that hive until the 29th. That helps remind you that when things happen and when you shouldn't be in there and when you should not be in there. If say you're grafting and you're doing a, a cell starter or a, a cell starter, you can take and you say graft on the 6th. I know that I should have cap cells by the 10th. I go pull my cells out and distribute them across all my nukes. It also tells me when I put them in my nukes, if I had one of these dials on each one of my nukes, like I have in my nuke setup back here, right? You know you can come back and say this particular hive should be ready by the 26th, right? It just is a w quick way for you to, to see and observe what the status of your colony is and see if it's queen right. We do a couple different things with this dial. You can do them separate. You can also, over here behind Nancy real quick, you can also take and put them on a block of wood, that mating indicator. So you've got your queen right dials down there on the hive, you look down here, Charlie. You see these two hives, this is a standard hobbyist setup, right? Double deeps, or not Charlie, Charlie single deeps. But Charlie can put that on the bottom, and if he has no queen in there, he puts a drop of, uh, a frame of eggs in there, he can set it, says, eggs, today is the six, on a little block of wood, set this on the colony. You know that you need to come back on the 13th. Check that, oh, we got queen cells, good. We need to leave it alone until the 29th. You can move that block around your apiary. You could keep this in your back pocket and say, oh, when I'm doing the calculation, let's say you don't want to use our queen right system to track the status. You want to write on the top of your hives, which can wash off and have other issues, which is why the queen right system is really good. But this will give you that calculator in your pocket to be able to say when I write on there, what data I need to come back, right? We, we have a philosophy here at Queen Right Dial, which is ditch the brick, go with the queen right dial system, right? Because it's more effective, it gives you more information and it's, it's durable. They're UV resistant plastic, waterproof and fade resistant. So I'll ask you. And just as another comment, we're in the honey show here at the, the North American Honey Bee Expo and we place first in the gadget contest. So we're really excited about that. Look forward to seeing everybody. What's that? Queen what? How can you buy one? How can I buy one? Well, I just love talking about them. I don't want to sell them. Come on, Charlie. No, you can buy them online at queenrightdial.com. You can go to queenrightdial.com. We, uh, we can send them to you, ship them to you anywhere in the country. They are come in, in different sets. We have... We have a two-pack of the, of the mating dial and a two-pack of the status indicator. We also sell a five-pack of the status indicator, and we have already sold out of our five-pack of the mating dials. They're very popular at the show today. But we also, if you have large yards, and say you're selling queens or you're a commercial keeper, we sell them in 25 packs as well as 100 packs. So if you need to get them, come see Brian Coper or myself. Catch us online. You know Brian Coper from Castle Hives and the Stream Team, myself from Bohemia Bees. Check us out, reach out to us, queenrightdial.com, and we'll get you what your uh, needs are and get you satisfied. All good, take it easy, everybody. Here's Bob Benning's booth. He's brought a whole tractor and trailer load of products to sell. Here's stacks of 15 pound blocks of wax. 
There's his sign, all kinds of hunting. There's Selena, one of his beekeepers. He's got all kinds of gloves, woodenware, you name it, he's got it. Over here we got t-shirts. We got Appymon with the Appy tablet. We got all kinds of people selling different types of honey. And of course here is Man Lake with their great big booth of all kinds of bee products. You need frames? Here's a whole pallet full of frames you can buy. Or buy them at 10 frame individual packs. Here's candle molds. Deep 10 frame boxes. Hive frame racks and tools, hive tools, brushes, you name it, they got it. I noticed you had like a PVC 